Have you ever had a neurological exam? No. Really, really strong. Gliomas are the most common form of primary brain cancer, both in children and in adults. These are extremely aggressive cancers. They typically kill a patient in, in less than one to two years. And up to this point, we've been really incapable of adequately controlling them and treating them. I've never seen a normal astrocyte doing this. We really try to understand how cancer cells from particularly malignant brain tumors are so successful in colonizing the brain and to, to grow in it, to spread and to interact with it. And cancer neuroscience really gives us completely new cues how that is working. It'd be good to have a control protein. Cancer neuroscience is a field that studies the interactions between the nervous system and cancer, both the way that the nervous system influences cancer and the way that cancers influence the nervous system. Traditionally, brain tumors were seen as just some cells damaging the brain, but it's not communicating with the brain. We discovered um, that the cancer cells hijack neurodevelopmental mechanisms to really colonize the brain and make tumor cells thrive. So a lot of big tumors here. Cancer neuroscience is absolutely uh, fundamental. Instead of viewing these diseases as isolated entities or masses, we now know that they are part of uh, the brain circuit and network. For me, it's been an eye-opener to learn these fundamental aspects of uh, cancer biology. Keep your head still and just look over here. My hope is that we can translate these discoveries and this new understanding quickly for better outcomes for patients. Repurposing of drugs is one very important um, aspect. We have more than 100 approved drugs in neurology, psychiatry, uh, internal medicine that do modulate the nervous system. Now it's a fascinating question to ask which of these drugs should be inhibited in this and this type of cancer. I think the future is bright for cancer neuroscience. I think that there is so much biology to be uncovered. The more information we get, the more knowledge we get about the biology of this disease, the more likely we are to find effective medication. It bears the promise to really erect a new pillar of cancer therapy in the future for my patients and for our patients.